What's going on, everybody? I'm Andrew Thomas. I am currently next here to All Elite Wrestling official Aubrey Edwards. Aubrey, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Okay, so Aubrey, take me back to All Out main event match, World Championship, Chris Jericho versus Adam Hangman Page. What are you feeling in that moment? So, right up until that moment, I was not nervous. Like, so real talk, I get nervous before every show and every match. It's just a different level. Sometimes it's a one, sometimes it's a ten. And I was not nervous at all, weirdly so, before that whole match. And then the moment I walk out and I'm in the ring and Paige's music starts to play, I literally forget everything we're about to say on the microphone. Because we did that whole, like, thread the, the mic through, like, MMA title fight style. And I was just like, I've literally practiced these, like, three sentences for hours. And I just forgot what they were. And Paige is going to walk out on a horse. And I better remember in the next, like, minute or I'm screwed. And I was super nervous right up until the bell rang. And then it was just like, work. And when Jericho hits the Judas effect, and all of a sudden I'm like, that just happened. <laughs> oh, my God. And, like, I didn't put my pants, so I was real proud of myself because I was really nervous. But as soon as it was done, it was good. It was great. Okay, so your exchanges with Chris Jericho have been fantastic. Did you guys plan those out, or is that just, like, natural in-ring chemistry? Like, you get him, he gets you type of thing. I mean, there's a lot of, like... We know generally what's going to happen, but how things play out is all organic. So the, the I, I'll use the word chemistry, but like the chemistry that we had in that moment was just, that's what we were feeling right then and there. So you also had the opportunity to referee in the May Young Classic. Do you have any fond, fond memories from that? I do. Uh, everything that I learned from WWE has helped me get here. Like, I know that there's a lot of fans online who are like, oh, are you WWE or AEW? But I think there's something for everybody, right? And the thing that they have is they've been around for a very long time. So they have a ton of experience. And I basically got to work with their NXT team to learn how to ref on television because it's a completely different beast than refing in the indies. So I owe them a lot, like Drake, uh, Brewer, Eddie, Jessica Carr especially. I mean, like she paved the way for me. She was the one that got me the trial in the first place. So, oh yeah, like I owe her, I owe her the world. She's, she's fantastic. And it's great to see, like, I think it was Philadelphia, like week three, where I was doing the title match for Jericho and Darby. She was also made of NXT. Yeah, I so to have this moment where on both major wrestling shows on the same night, there are women referees made of NXT. Like, that wouldn't have happened three years ago. So, I owe them a lot. I think they've done a lot to pave the way. Uh, they did a lot to help me grow as a referee. I, I know that I wouldn't be here without them. So tell me about, as an official, what is the craziest match that you've ever been a part of that you can recall off the top? Uh, craziest match I've been a part of, I had uh, back in June of this year at my home promotion, 3-2-1 Battle. I was in a match with uh, this guy, Steve West, who's actually one of my coaches. And at one point, he gets real mad that I'm like, air quotes, counting slow. Same speed I always count, but whatever. It's heels are going to heal, right? So he gets mad at me and says, you know what? I know you were a dancer back in, back in a previous life, and you're just a dancer pretending to be referee. So one day, music's going to play, the synapses are going to fire, and the rhythm's going to get you. And then Gloria Stefan's the rhythm's going to get you starts playing. And he's facing Sonny Kiss, other AEW superstar. And we break out into a full-on dance number with like it's all choreographed there's like little like tip for tat i do i do a couple moves he does a couple moves we start dancing together and it's like but we're wrestling at the same time so like sunny kiss is taking out steve west as like i i, I whip him from like a tango two-step kind of thing like it's insane at one point like i take a bump i'm coming back to life weekend of bernie style shaking my butt check in submissions and then we just immediately go into a full wrestling match it is insane it's, it's up on like youtube you can watch it it's it's honestly the craziest match i've ever done it's absolutely insane that, that honestly sounds like a lot of fun it sounds it sounds like you had a lot of fun i wish i could have been there for that moment it was that, so fun that, that take me okay so i just want to ask you a fun question here if you could go back in time and referee any match in history what match would you referee oh boy um that is a hard question you can list off a couple I mean, like, so the one that I watched recently again was uh, Shawn Michaels, uh, Hogan. I think you know the one I'm talking about where he, like, yeah. oversells everything. Yeah. I think I want to wrap that purpose. just, I know he did. <laughs> like, that was the funniest part about that, right? It's like, you see Hogan's face and he's just, like, so upset about it. But uh, I think I'd want to wrap that just to be there firsthand and to be like, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Like, I think that's what I'd want to do, just to experience how ridiculous that is firsthand. So I'll wrap it up for the interview. Aubrey, I want to thank you for your time again, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much, man.